Hi, this is Harry Guinness for Tuts Plus, and in this tutorial, I'm looking at some of Zapier's more advanced features. If you're new to Zapier, check out the first tutorial, which is linked in the written tutorial that accompanies this post. I'm going to create a multi step zap that is going to follow an RSS feed, filter it by author name, and then share it on Twitter and Facebook. So let's get started. Log into Zapier, and if you're not already on a premium plan, sign up for the free trial, and then click Make a Zap. For the Trigger app, I want to use an RSS feed, so I'm going to type RSS, and then select RSS by Zapier, and then New Item in Feed, Save and Continue. The feed I'm going to use is the Tuts Plus feed, so I'm going to paste that in there, which is tutsplus.com slash feed.atom. There's no username or password needed, and I'm just going to leave the what triggers it to the default click continue. So Zapier wants to test this, I'm going to click fetch and continue. And it's going to pull the most recent feed item. And we can see what that is by clicking view the item in the feed and it's by Andrew Blackman. And it's a master color correction with these two courses. Perfect. I'm going to click continue. Next, I want to filter that feed. So I'm going to type filter. And there we go. We got filter by Zapier. So I'm going to grab that and then only continue if. So this is gonna check the first step for a set of conditions that I'm gonna specify. And if it doesn't match, then it's just gonna stop here. So I want the author, so it's gonna pull in the information from the feed, and then we go raw author name, and I want it to contain my name, so Harry Guinness. Now Andrew Blackman obviously isn't Harry Guinness, so this is gonna fail in this case, but that's not gonna affect how we build this zap click continue and then test and as I said it's gonna fail Andrew Blackman text contains Harry Guinness your zap would not run but uh, we can keep going and click add a step to add the action and just work as if it would run so for the action app I'm gonna start with using Twitter so click Twitter and then create a tweet click save and continue and then we're going to use the Twitter account I set up in the last tutorial. And then we want the content of the tweet to say new article by. And then we can use the fill ins. So from the new item in feed. And then we can use raw alter name. Then we can add in the title followed by the, um, where's the link? The link is there, followed by the link. And we want Zapier to shorten all links. There's no reason not to. Click continue. And then we can see this is gonna be a new article by Andrew Blackman, master color correction with these two courses and then the link. Remember, you've only got 140 characters to play with, so don't be too verbose before adding in the link. I'm going to skip the test and continue. I know that's going to work. I don't really want to tweet that article randomly. I've been annoying my followers all day by testing out different Zapier integrations. So click skip test and continue, followed by continue again. And I'm going to name this RSS to uh, Twitter or to social. And I want to add another action. So I'm going to click the plus here. And then I'm going to choose Facebook. And you might need to set up your Facebook account if you haven't already. Then post to timeline. Save and continue. You can see using Zapier is really very simple. It's quite self-explanatory once you've got the basics down. And then again, we're going to use the fill-ins here. So I'm going to go and give this the new item in feed. And we're going to go with the title. by, And then the raw author name and then in the link to share I'm going to add in the link and once again I'm going to ignore all those click continue and we'll see master color correction with these two course by Andrew Blackman followed by the link would get shared to my Facebook page click skip test and continue continue once more and then I can just turn on that zap and we're ready to go so for more information on setting up this Zap and advanced features in Zapier, check out the written tutorial that accompanies this screencast.